Good morning, my name is Drea and I am a licensed esthetician at Beau Visage Spa and we are going to be talking about the fire and ice facial from Is Clinical today and we were supposed to talk about it last week but I got mixed up and talked about the active serum so I do apologize for the little mix up. So about the fire and ice facial, um, this is a legendary facial. It is designed to rapidly and safely resurface and rejuvenate the skin with little to no downtime. The professional treatment helps to reduce the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. It improves the look of uneven skin tone and blemish prone skin, resulting in a more youthful complexion. This facial is so famous that it's actually been featured in People Magazine um, in style. It was voted Celebrity Facial of the Year. It's been on Access Hollywood, and it's also been on Extra. So this is a very popular service. Um, the Is Clinical Fire and Ice Resurfacing Facial is it's a rejuvenating treatment, and it bridges the gap between a mild facial and an intensive peel. The nice part is there's no downtime with this service. Um, the Is Clinical Fire and Ice Facial, it's a combination of two treatments, the very powerful and intensive resurfacing mask that is made up of sugarcane extracts, also known as glycolic acid, and vitamin A and B3. So vitamin B3 is um, niacinamide, so it's very brightening. It's also great for acne prone skin. And vitamin A is usually a little bit of retinol, so it helps with cellular turnover. It guarantees the most stunning and effective results you've ever experienced. And so there's some things you want to think about before getting the service and the certain measures that you need to take before you have this treatment is um, you want to avoid facial waxing um, or any laser usage on the skin for about 48 hours prior to the service. You want to stop using your daily skincare products that contain glycolic acid and retinol or any form of vitamin A or any other ingredient that's exfoliating. So you really want to make sure that you're not using an exfoliant right before this service. And if you have um, any doubts or questions, you're more than welcome to get a hold of us at Beau Visage before your treatment and we will go over your skincare routine with you and I can easily spot an exfoliant for you so it takes the guesswork out. That way you don't have to worry or be nervous that you, you know, exfoliated before this facial. So that is definitely something that I wouldn't mind doing. So just let us know and it is... Um, you want to skip these products about three days before the service, but the more time, the better probably. So three to five days, but three days is the minimum. And it's mandatory that you tell your esthetician at the spa about any medications that you're taking. Um, use of some medications will not allow you to get this treatment. Same uh, case for pregnant women. So you just need to let us know if you're expecting. And this is is actually a safe facial for pregnant clients but as always you would want to check with your gynecologist and your doctor and make sure that it is safe for you um, before your treatment but the nice thing is this is a service that is technically safe for pregnant women so it's kind of nice because most pregnant services like are very limited you know you can't get a whole lot when you're pregnant with your skin um, so just let us know and the benefits of this service. So the benefits are the results of this revolutionary skincare treatment kind of speak for themselves. This highly effective skin resurfacing solution can provide many benefits. So it can diminish the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles, reduce scars and acne scars, smooth away rough skin, erase uneven skin tone and hyperpigmentation. Not just in one though, like this is something we would work up to. Um, it's it's always going to be a series of treatments in skincare. There's never a one and done. Sorry guys. It's kind of like exercise. It's a lifelong lifestyle change to have awesome skin. It's not going to happen in an hour in the treatment room. I just want to make sure I'm being realistic with everyone and not creating false hope. Um, restore a supple glow. It's safe for all skin types, even rosacea skin, which which is kind of amazing because usually, um, again, you're really limited with your rosacea sometimes with what services you can get in a spa. So kind of neat. And there's no required downtime. Um, 
just to dive a little deeper into what it can do. So it can help with dark hyperpigmentation or brown spots. Um, if you've been noticing darkened patches of your skin or your face, you may be experiencing hyperpigmentation. Um, these patches are generally the result of hormonal changes and can become unsightly if left untreated. Our fire and ice facials are designed to rejuvenate your facial skin and mitigate or eliminate the appearance of hyperpigmentation. It helps with dry skin. So sometimes moisturizers aren't enough, especially during the colder months when your furnace is running or um, when it's really hot. I'm sorry. Yeah, just when when your skin just, it it's, it's like you put a bunch of moisturizer on it, but it's not helping. <laughs> so that definitely helps with dry skin. Um, and face breakouts and acne. So the nice thing about this facial is it helps with acne breakouts. Many people do struggle with facial breakouts and acne. Um, the fire and ice facials are a fast and powerful solution that will rejuvenate your skin and reduce or nullify facial breakouts. If you have tried everything and you need professional help, or if you want a treatment that is refreshing, that shows immediate results, fire and ice can help give you the complexion of your dreams. I will say that my boss loves, loves, loves this facial. We even have hydrofacial at our spa and she actually prefers this to a hydrofacial. So um, I myself have had one. I absolutely loved it. It was wonderful, and I definitely did see some pretty immediate results, so I will give it that. Um, the Fire and Ice Facial Treatment, it uses enzymatic ingredients that are safe, fast, and effective for everyone. If you have skin issues or just want to look and feel younger, the Fire and Ice can help you regain normalcy to your life without any fear of negative side effects. So there's no peeling. Again, it's rosacea safe, pregnancy safe, but always check with your doctor first. Um, so who's a candidate? Um, anyone who's unsatisfied by their appearance of skin imperfections or concerns can benefit from the Fire and Ice Facial from Is Clinical. If you're looking for extremely effective treatment for reviving the appearance of your skin, you could be a candidate. If you're ready to experience the rejuvenating results provided by this revolutionary facial, um, you're actually joining a list of A-list celebrities who have done that as well. So Gwyneth Paltrow has used this um, Fire and Ice facial before. Holly Berry has had one. Jessica Alba and Michelle Keegan are some of the celebrities that have had this treatment. Because, you know, you can't really have a lot of downtime when you're famous because uh, you tend to be photographed by the paparazzi or be on film projects um, quite frequently. So... I like that there's no downtime and you can't, you don't need to expect any peeling with this service, but it's almost as good as getting a peel in itself. So, uh, it's kind of awesome. This facial is great for all skin types and ages. The facial doesn't last necessarily an entire hour. It can be done in as little as 30 minutes. So we will probably book you for an hour. And the reason being is because we want to make sure you have a really thorough consultation before the service. Make sure you understand everything. Make sure you're a great candidate and make sure that you're comfortable and all your questions are answered before a surface, a resurfacing treatment like this one. So that's why this service is probably booked out for about an hour, but um, it's more of a results driven service, so it, not, it won't necessarily take an hour. Um, you're not paying for the time, you're paying for the expertise of the esthetician and the quality of the results. So just wanna make sure you know that. Um, what to expect. So it's more like a medical treatment. The lights do stay on, just like with a chem peel. Um, it's very clinical. The fire portion of the facial, facial is called an intensive resurfacing mask, clinically formulated with 18% glycolic acid that's unbuffered. Unbuffered means that there's no fillers. It means that there's less irritants. So that's awesome. That's such a good thing. Um, there is lactic acid in this one, which is milk derived. It's great for brightening the skin. There's citric acid, malic acid, retinol, vitamin B3, and potent antioxidants, including green tea extract. Um, the fire is about three to five minutes. It depends on your skin sensitivity. You will be closely monitored by a trained um, esthetician who will know when it's time to take it off. They'll also be checking in with you on your sensitivity to make sure that they don't need to remove um, more quickly or 
they'll know. They'll just know. We, we know. We're looking for signs of tomato. We're making sure that your skin isn't getting red. It's okay for it to get pink, but it shouldn't get red during the service. And we also check in with you. I always ask on a 1 to 10 scale of intensity, how are you feeling? 1 being the least, 10 being the most. So it's a very interactive service. It's not the kind of facial where you're just relaxed and falling asleep. Um, there is going to be a lot of questions. We need you to stay awake for this one while we have this acid on your skin. Um, so just expect that. Um, that being said, it can also be applied to your neck and your chest, which I highly recommend because... Uh, it's summertime and ladies, we love to wear like tank tops and v-necks and you know, this is really where your face starts because of all the clothing that we wear. So you want it all to look good. So I do recommend to get it on the neck and decollete if you're comfortable. Um, as far as what else to expect, um, there's an ice portion of the facial and it's the rejuvenating mask. And this is very cool. It's soothing. It's intensive hydration. It contains hyaluronic acid, which we know is a water magnet. It holds a thousand times its weight in water. And aloe vera gel, which we all have used after a sunburn. It's so soothing and it feels amazing. Japanese green tea extracts, which are really high in antioxidants. I actually drink matcha tea and green tea every single day for that very reason. And there is licorice extracts, which we know are very brightening for the skin, grapeseed extracts, and rosemary extracts, which are phenomenal for rosacea-prone skin. They are great for all skin, but especially rosacea, um, I absolutely love those. Or just sensitive skin or anything like that. They're wonderful. Uh, that mask is can stay on the skin for up to 10 minutes, but in between the fire and ice portion, I should note that there is a portion where we neutralize the skin. We use the cleansing complex from Is Clinical, and that neutralizes the skin, and the ice mask is massaged into the skin afterwards. We'll check in with you. We'll make sure that you're not feeling anything after the fire portion. From my personal experience of when I had the fire and ice facial, I will tell you that I expected a lot more tingle than I actually got. It was a little bit tingly here and there. I will also let you know that my skin is very conditioned. I have been using glycolics and retinols and had chemical peels in advanced skincare services and I have a good home care regimen. So my skin is pretty conditioned. So my experience might not be the same as yours based off of how hydrated you are that day. Um, you know, if you take good care of your skin, if you have a very minimal regimen or you don't have one yet, you can still get this service. I'm just not sure what the intensity level will be for you specifically, but the majority of clients that I've done this on have not reached more than like a three or a four on the one to 10 scale. So that being said, um, what else you can expect during the treatment? It's common to feel a bit of heat and slight tingling when the fire mask comes in contact with your skin. It's also normal for you to feel the same when the fire mask is being taken off the skin. So when the water touches the skin, um, it can be a bit intense and it is short lasting. So I'll kind of show you a really neat picture I found on the internet here. Hopefully you can see it. Let me make sure. Oh, it's not rotating. I'll just hold it up. So this is kind of a neat representation of the facial. I just thought that was cool. I like the way it looked. So, um, yeah, when you feel that water coming onto the skin, it's definitely quite a sensation, but don't worry, it'll be neutralized quickly with the cleansing complex. I never felt like my skin reached past um, about a five, so that was good. And I would say it was a five probably when um, it was being removed and it didn't last very long. So it doesn't hurt, it tingles, it's a sensation, you will feel something, it's a sensory experience, but it's not a bad one, and you're gonna love your glow so much afterwards, you'll quickly forget about all of the tingling. Um, once the um, ice mask has been applied to your face, you're gonna feel quite calm and soothed, and it's, it's like a drink of water on a hot day in the desert. It feels magical. It can be left on for 10 minutes. I left mine on for the full 10 minutes. And by the end of it, I didn't feel anything on my skin at all. There was no activity whatsoever. 
and that uh, just to reassure you and let you know because I know that sometimes chemical peels or surfacing treatments or something that we don't know about can be a little intimidating at first but this one is definitely worth it. Um, afterwards, we are going to apply several um, serums in order to hydrate the skin, to protect the skin, to soothe your skin further. And SPF 50 will be applied. If you get this service with me, I will definitely be letting you know when to reapply SPF throughout the day. Um, I'll just let you know right now. You should be reapplying it every two hours that you're in direct sunlight. And that is from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. So just be mindful about your sun exposure after any facial, but especially after the fire and ice. You just want to make sure that you're reapplying your SPF and you're being vigilant with that. Um, the fire and ice facial, it has no downtime. That means you will not experience any skin shredding, um, redness, inflammation, or irritation at all. However, it is expected that after a few hours of the treatment, your skin may seem flushed, but this will... Um, wear off within the next four to six hours. So after my fire and ice experience, I did have the flushing um, several hours after, but by the time I woke up in the morning, there was nothing there to worry about. Um, I think there are, I think there's a video even of Aaliyah performing the service. So if you're really curious or you're visual and you really want to see the service being performed, we have it, I think I performed it on India and uh, Aaliyah performed it on me. So um, we just love this facial. It's got some amazing results and I'm really excited that we have Is Clinical because it's such a results driven line. I am highly enjoying it. So to wrap up my class, a little bit of stress relieving tip that I learned today and got to practice this morning. This is called um, alpha breathing and it is breathing in the nose and then exhaling out of the mouth and the video that I watched that I'll link in the comments below was I think about 30 times but you're breathing so you're not taking breaths in between like you're not taking a pause in between breaths if that makes sense so it was a little more intense than I realized it would be um, but it's really neat. I will definitely share this in the comments below and have you guys check it out. It's a great thing to add to your morning routine. It can actually change the alkalinity of your pH of your blood. Um, I think I said that right. Yeah. So it can actually help the blood to be more alkaline. And we know when cancer is present in other diseases in the body, there's too much acidity in the body. So this is a way to possibly um, make yourself healthier, which is ideal, especially in a pandemic. So it's called alpha breathing and it's amazing. There is a portion where he asks you to actually hold your breath for 60 seconds. I'm not there yet. Um, so just do what you can if you try it out. Don't beat yourself up if you can't hold your breath for a minute to a minute and a half like this um, trainer is doing. His name is Wim Hoff and he's an amazing, um, I don't know if he's an athlete, but he is broken world records for being able to be in the cold. He's actually climbed, I believe, Mount Everest in his underwear. Um, and he teaches people in less than 24 hours how to do the same thing. And he'll take them up the mountain and they will have minimal clothing on in crazy temperatures. I think it's like negative 20 or something. And he's fine. So um, I really think he's a really neat coach. Check him out. He's the reason that I take cold showers once in a while. Um, really love this guy. I think he's really intelligent. And I think you can really benefit. It's super stress relieving. So please check it out. And if you do the alpha breathing next Wednesday when I have a class, please raise your hand. Like, let me know. Not raise your hand, but, you know, leave a comment and uh, tell us how it worked for you. Because I'm going to keep trying it every day because um, I think it's really beneficial. So I hope you've enjoyed this class. I look forward to seeing you guys next Wednesday. And the class will be on schedule. It'll be the right class. I believe I titled it. Um, what did I title it now that I've I put myself on the spot? Um, sugar, sugar and spice and skincare advice.
that's what it is. Um, sugar and spice skincare advice. I'm going to be talking about all of the effects of sugar on the skin, what it does to the skin, what it does to the body, and how you can possibly reduce or get off of added sugars to have your best skin health. So I look forward to seeing you guys for that class and thank you for joining. Have a wonderful day.